So let's talk about when to use a straight stitch throat plate. And what is it exactly? With your machine, you will notice you have a zigzag opening on the standard throat plate, but on this one, you have just a single hole. And if you ever put this on and forget to tell the machine you did that, and you accidentally chose a zigzag and then stitched it, you are going to break a needle. So I wanna talk about where we wanna use this in the first place, and also where we tell the machine that we are using this throw plate. Let's start with that first. So right down here where it says nine millimeters, the throw plate picture is showing. And as you touch it, you'll find that this is the area where you can choose a twin needle, a double needle, a wing needle, all those different needles. But then here is where your throat plate choices are. So the middle one, it says zero millimeters. So when you touch it, when then come back out here, you will notice that if you picked a zigzag, the zigzag is a straight stitch. All these other stitches, a straight stitch. And if you made it wider, it's gonna turn red and there's gonna be a little pop up um, red flag here, caution, that you're not gonna be able to sew. So it just won't let you stitch that at all. I'm gonna just clear this out so it's back to normal. Um, so yes, it would stitch these stitches, but all in a straight line. So right now it is a yellow number of zero millimeters. So that's indicating that it is on. And when you're done and you're going back to the other throat plate, touch it, come back to nine millimeters. You do see that yellow star indicated right there. Okay, so why would we actually use these? Okay, so number one, I do get better straight stitching in the center needle position anytime I use a straight stitched throat plate. Because what we have here is the needle can only go in and out of that hole. It's like it's being held in place and can't wiggle side to side. So even if you're just straight piecing, maybe you even have the Bernina Patrick foot on with guide number 97 or any of the other quarter inch feet that are uh, available on, you can tell the machine you are using that and use the straight stitch throat plate. Prettier stitch keeps that needle lined up. Embroidery, another place that it's a wonderful time to use a straight stitch throat plate. And the third most popular use of it is when you're free motion quilting. And whether that's with a regular foot or the Bernina stitch regulator, which is my personal favorite, this throat plate gets put on and told that it's on there and then that way I don't accidentally break any needles. But when you're free motion quilting, what are you doing? You're moving the fabric left, right, back and forth, and often with some pretty good movement of fast speed. And again, that's gonna keep that needle going right down through the hole only, not getting kind of shifted left or right like it would with this rope plate here, and you will get a prettier stitch. Don't forget, if you're doing free motion quilting, my favorite needle is a top stitch needle. Again, because that needle can protect the thread even as it's being forced through that little tiny hole. So once again, if you get used to using that for many days on end, uh, just remember to go back to any type of decorative work. You have to switch throat plates and tell the machine you have done so.